Hello, listeners, and welcome back to the English with Neil podcast. This is episode number 110. And today I'm going to share some fun English riddles. A riddle is a puzzle. It's something, it's a question that challenges us. And a lot of the times the answer to these questions are not direct. They're really creative questions that you have to think about a little bit. Um, so today's episode may be a little difficult when you listen to it the first time. So I recommend listening to this episode maybe two or three times so that you can understand the full meaning of each riddle. And if it's a little too difficult, I recommend writing down the riddles so that you can see them on paper and they may help you understand the riddle a little more better. So without further ado, let's get started with riddle one. Here it is. It belongs to you, but your friends use it more. What is it? It belongs to you, but your friends use it more. What is it? All right, the answer is your name, right? Your name belongs to you, but your friends use it more. Like you don't use your name all the time. Your friends mostly use your name more than you. So that's the answer, your name. All right, let's go to riddle number two. Here it is. What can you catch but not throw? What can you catch but not throw? The answer is a cold. Cold, C-O-L-D, right? So in English we say you catch a cold, right? But this catch is talking about catching like a ball. So you can catch a cold, but you can't throw it. <laughs> so that's a pretty funny one. All right, here is the next one. This one's a little bit challenging, but here it is. What can fill a room but doesn't take up any space? What can fill a room but doesn't take up any space? The answer is a light, <laughs> right? When you turn on the light, the light touches every corner of the room, right? But it doesn't take up any space because light is not physical, right? You cannot touch the light, so it doesn't take up any space, but it fills an entire room. <laughs> so that's an interesting one. Okay, here is the next one. What two things can you never eat for breakfast? What two things can you never eat for breakfast? The answer is lunch and dinner <laughs> did you understand that right because you can't eat breakfast for lunch and you can't eat breakfast for dinner so that's a cool one what two things can you never eat for breakfast lunch and dinner <laughs> that's a funny one okay here's the next one this one is is it's a bit of a math problem but exactly kind of funny and interesting so here it is there are three apples in a basket and you take away two. How many apples do you have now? So one more time. There are three apples in a basket. And you take away two. How many apples do you have now? The answer is you have two apples. <laughs> it's funny because, right, you would think, no, Neil, you only there's only one apple, but in your hand, there are two. So the question was, how many apples do you have now? You have two apples in your hand. <laughs> All right. And here's the last one. OK, this is a funny one. What question can you never answer yes to? What question can you never answer yes to? The answer is, are you asleep yet? <laughs> right? 
Because if you're asleep, obviously you can't answer anything. You can't say, yeah, I'm asleep. So that's kind of funny. So what did you think of these riddles? Were they a little challenging? Can you, did you understand the meaning of them? Like I said, if it was a little hard, go back, write them down and see them visually. And then they will make sense to you. So I hope you guys had a good time today. All right, everyone, that is it for today's episode. Thank you for tuning in to the English with Neil podcast. I look forward to speaking with you in the next one. Take care, everyone, and talk to you soon. Peace.